Ironically, it's Dean's fear of failure that is preventing him from making the necessary changes for success. But before Gordon can put his plan for change into action, he decides to explore the local competition. Italian, Chinese restaurants, next door to Pizzeria, an American bistro. How weird, another Italian. Restaurants everywhere. Another Italian, my God. How are you? Very good. Good to see you. You too. And what a beautiful little shop. Thank you very much. Busy little place? Very busy. Fantastic. So the great meat eaters here? Yes, they are. They yeah. love their steaks, and they like them thick. Been up and down the street. There's not one steakhouse anywhere. No, there isn't. Why has no one ever opened one here? Ah, uh, I don't know. But if there was a steakhouse locally, you could supply it? It would be a pleasant change. Well, listen, thank you. OK, Good sir. to see you. Have a good weekend. OK. Thank Chef. you, Paul. Chef, thank you again. Take care. OK, sir. Nice. Now armed with local knowledge, Gordon knows that to turn this restaurant around, he must get the chef back on track. Michael, this restaurant needs to be known for something. First big change, prime rib. Prime rib. On the bone. Okay. This is a special to get this place in the right direction, okay. to make your life easier and to make service quicker. I am very nervous. It's not every day that you get to cook with a world-class chef. You know how to slice it from there, don't you? Down and all up. Yeah, exactly. Go ahead and put that beef in, yeah? I'm excited to learn those new dishes. And then after time, just put my own spin on them and hope he doesn't come back and throw me under the bus. The idea behind the chopped salad is having that little bit of crunch there, yeah? Romaine, shredded, a few chives, a little bit of bacon in there. Half dressed so it stays nice and crunchy. A little seasoning on the avocado, your tomato, chopped egg, a few chives. <laughs> Whee! Meltdown. OK. <laughs> yes? Oh, just think of the complaints. What? You're not stuffing my salad in a funnel? What do you mean you're not serving me a funnel salad? Mike, you all right with this? I'm like fine working. with that. I left my ass off. When he burned those funnels with the creme brulee torch, I left. And I, I understood his point. There's nothing wrong with a simple salad. Don't try and make it anything that it's not. If they come and ask me for their salad to be stuck inside a funnel, I will personally lift them and put them next door in the retirement home. <laughs> OK? <laughs> Last of the fucking funnel. <laughs>